Hello everybody, this is Rue back again. I'm not in my current uh, filming spot because it is overrun with a bunch of stuff that I need to review soon. And uh, I know I've been lacking in the video department lately, but I've been busy uh, doing other stuff. Anyway, this is uh, just a quick look at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Yu-Gi's Collector Box. I was going to pass on this initially because I've seen this one for sale by itself. And I'm not really impressed at what the cards that, the cards that it comes with. But I saw this box and uh, I had to get it because there's a big Dark Magician card in the back. Hopefully it is a card and not just a part of the background. And uh, you get the smaller version here. And you get six booster packs that are from the, what is this, uh, Duelist pack apparently. And uh, they, they have these for sale individually as well. But the, I've never seen them with this design. So hopefully there's something good inside of it. And uh, it's a pretty big box just for a size comparison. Here's a DS Lite. So, you know, it's really, really big. I picked it up at Toys R Us for about $30, including taxes and all that. But, uh, yeah, it looks cool. And in the, nothing much on the side. And in the back, just product shots of what it comes with and all that stuff. So there's a bunch of wrapping all over it, so I'm probably just going to have to cut to me when it's already open. So, yeah. And here we have the cards unboxed. Uh, they come in this clamshell packaging, which is just removable like so. And let's see what it comes with. It comes with a Yugi starter deck, reloaded. It'll be interesting to see what's in there, even though I kind of already glanced through it when I saw these boxes for sale. It comes with a promo, a promo Dark Magician card. Looks pretty good. It's all holographic because usually this is not holographic up here. These stars, the level, but it is actually shiny, which is cool. I don't like this color scheme for him. I like the original. It's kind of like an offset purple here, and the skin is weird, but you know, it's what it's good for what it is. And uh, here's the giant card that it comes with. If I can pull that out. It's uh, just the same thing, but it's not holographic, unfortunately. And it doesn't even have the hologram. Which I guess is fair enough. Nobody wants to be playing this in an actual card game. And just for the size comparison, here they are together. So it, it is a quite a big card. And then just the back. To pretend like you've got small, small hands, freakishly small hands. Anyway, that's off topic. And it comes with finally the six packs of separate booster packs. How many come in these five cards? Yeah, I don't know. Kind of feels gift for thirty bucks. But whatever. Let's see. Hopefully we get something good. Let me just move all this to the side. Well, we'll start with the booster box, uh, or not the booster box, the starter deck. And this will be like my fifth Yugi deck I have now. I have so many Yugi decks, it's not even funny. It's, and I just noticed saying Yugi deck really fast sounds funnier. But, by the way, I'm trying to open this thing, it's, it's hard. Okay, getting that out, we get... The instruction book, beginner's guide. I've actually never played a real game of Yu-Gi-Oh. I used to play just uh, with my friends a long time ago, but never played an actual, you know, real game. So I'm probably lost on the rules now. But yeah, comes with a standard field mat. Again, I probably won't use that. Comes with an advertisement to the starter decks. Oh, it's a deck list. And along with other stuff you can buy from the set. I already have this one and I reviewed it. If you'd like to see that, take a look at my older videos and you will see a review of this. It's pretty good. And uh, I also reviewed these packs too. If you'd like to see those as well, I have those in my older videos too. And I will hopefully be able to put links on. But, you know, sometimes I lack on that too as well. But by the by, and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 
cube card case. What is that? I've never seen that. Ooh, I want that. And uh, what else is coming? Structure Deck Yugi Moto. Uh, I haven't seen that one. I've seen this tin. I think I have this tin, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, and these are the ones I was talking about the Rivals of the Pharaoh card sets. The Dark Illusions, I haven't seen that one in stores yet, I think. And just a bunch of stuff you could do with the cards that come with the deck. And here are the cards themselves. Let me just try to rip this off without... Uh, well, I had scissors somewhere. Uh, there's a whole mess of stuff here now. Okay, here we go. Snippity snip. And away we go. Okay. So we get... Try to get this here. I'm in an awkward position. Okay, we got Dark Magician. I think it's holographic. Ooh, and it's like it's a weird kind of textured card. It looks really cool. Whoa, I didn't expect that. Look, even the borders are like weirdly textured and popping out. It looks cool. Okay, I got another Dark Magician for some reason. Not holographic. The Mystic Elf, Giant Soldier of Stone, you know this already. The Gemini Elf, Karibo, Busta Blader. We got, what the heck? Four Star Ladybug of Doom. I think we've seen that before. Ooh, Dark Magician Girl, my favorite. I, I'll do a lot of reviews on those figures if you'd like to see those as well. Uh, anyway. Skilled White Magician. I don't remember seeing that. Maybe that was towards the end. Skilled Dark Magician. Again, this is probably during the whole Millennium Saga thing. I don't remember. Old Vindictive Magician. Maybe this was when he fought the Pharaoh. But then again, that was a gadget deck. So, I don't know. Double Costin. Yeah, what is this? Uh, uh, Silent Swordsman. You've seen those before in the last episodes. And he gets the level up, and then the green gadget. Yeah, so this is his gadget deck, I would assume. And then there's the Magician's Valkyria, which is just an older-looking Dark Magician girl. Or whatever, the Tricky. Sorry that I'm not showing these as good as I could. I'm really in an awkward position here. Sort of revealing lights, Dark Pendant. We've seen all these. Mage Power, Book of the Moon... Uh, Thousand Knives, we've seen these. Dark Magician's Attack. Blah, 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 we've seen all these. Uh, Spellbinding Circle. Call of the Haunted. Magic Cylinder. Uh, Zero Gravity. And yeah. So this is a pretty good deck. I mean, I pretty much have a lot of these cards already in the other Yu Gi decks that I have reviewed. But it's a nice addition nonetheless. So, yeah, I'll put these in their little casey case here so I can go on with the rest of the review here. I mean, already, I think it's pretty worth it. You got a big Dark Magician card, so, you know, that's cool. And everything. So, I'm going to go ahead and open these one by one. Um, thanks for sticking by. Whoever's already watching this and saying, oh, it's so boring already. I will start with a Yugi one. See what we get. Buster Blader, I already got it. Catapult Turtle, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh dear, this is deja vu all over again. Oh no. Okay, let's open a Kaiba pack. Hopefully, we'll be lucky with Kaiba. Okay. See, we get Lord of D. Ha 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 ha. Giant. Enraged Battle Ox. Ooh, I don't have him. <gasps> Fiend Sanctuary. I don't have that. I don't know what that is, actually. Is that a ritual? No, it's not. I don't think it is. And we get oh, Vorsh Raider. I don't have that one. So, so far, this one's pretty good. Um, I didn't know they were going to have like themes like the Kaiba have Kaiba cards and Yugi has Yugi cards so that's weird I don't I hope they don't like release more of these because then I'm gonna be 
attempted to buy it. Well, we're going to open another Yugi pack. So, let's see. Let's see what we get. Yellow gadget. Got him. We just opened these. I swear. They have. Oh, man. Okay. Oop, hit the camera there. So, I'm going to just put these in two piles. One for Yugi and one for Kaiba. Okay, one for one. Let's open another Kaiba pack. I'm always scared of cutting the top of these. Alright. Let's see what we got for Kaiba. Interdimensional Mantu Transporter. Yeah. Z Metal Tank. Ooh, I don't have that one. Pluto Summoning Dragon. I don't got that one. I think I got that one actually. And then Vampire Lord. Never seen that one. Looks pretty fun. Okay, not bad for Kaiba. Yugi's looking a little lacking right now. This is the last Yugi pack we got. So let's open it up. So far I've um I feel like I wasted 30 bucks, but you know. I mean if you don't have a Yugi deck, this would be a great this would be a great place to start. Uh Diffusion Wave Motion. Queen's Knight, got him, got him, got him, got him, no, oh dear, this is not looking good, for Yugi anyways, for Kaiba, I've gotten some that I've never seen before, alright, let's see what I pulled for the last, this is the last one, this is for all the marbles, here we go, Ring of Defense, I don't think I got that one, Why Dragon Head, I, this is a new one for me, Judgment, Interdimensional and Kaiser Seahorse, which I already have. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice just went crazy there. But, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like I kind of just wasted 30 bucks here. But here are the two sets. And the booster, here's Yugi. And here's Kaiba. So, I'm not even sure I'm going to separate these. But, uh, yeah. You got a nice amount of cards, I guess. Yeah, almost half a deck there, or even more. And it came with a giant card, so you can't really complain about that. And uh, an exclusive Dark Magician, so, I mean... All in all, I think it's a very... It's a good deal if you don't have any Yugi decks. If you don't have a Kaiba deck, this is fine. Um... Uh, for me though, I've been collecting these and you know, I have a lot of those so I don't know man, I think I kind of feel, I feel gypped but you know Live and learn, you know In conclusion, yes, go buy it if you don't have the Yugi deck, like I said If you do, uh, stay clear from this one And there's probably going to release a Kaiba collector box as well Which I will probably pick up as well so, that's that. Anyways, thanks for watching. I will be putting up more reviews. Uh, please be patient for whoever is watching this. Anyone watching this? If anyone's watching, hello. And uh, I have a lot of stuff to review. Look, I've got a whole shelf there. Look at that. Look at that. i got more stuff over there. Look at that. And this is just like a quarter of my collection here. Look at that. Oh my god. Is that Omega Mon? Yeah, it is. Okay, I I'm having too much fun here. Okay, back to the back to the main thing. Uh, yes, thanks for watching. Get it if you don't got it. If you do got it, stay the hell away from this because this is just a bunch of doubles. And uh, yes, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more. Bye. I told you she was my favorite.